Welcome everyone to exercise number 9a. In this exercise I would like to show you how to combine information about on one hand a spatial file like a shape file and on the other hand something like a table. Maybe you will find that in an old database or you have created it prior to your pro to your own spatial project. So uh, the big question is how to make a join of these both tables uh, and when I'm saying about these both tables you need to be aware that each shapefile like in our example here in number 9a there is a shapefile called PITS75 you will find something like an attribute table and this attribute table um, is consists or consists out of um, first of all a shape information like well we have about 606 points in this shape file but also information like these attributes you have seen before in the prior um, prior exercises so we have textual information we have numeric information and what is quite important for a shape file in every case is something like an identifier so um, a value or a number which um, just belongs to this uh, feature or this object. Normally, this is um, this is done automatically by ArcGIS by uh, um, adjusting this FID feature identifier. I, I will call it like that um, number, which is just as you can see a straight uh, natural number process from one to up to 605 but there's a second unique identifier in the shape file this is called ID number and I would like to say to you if you are, if you will create a shape file um, which you can learn after uh, in a few videos um, always use maybe an own identifier you will you can create it for yourself it's not that uh, hard to do that as you can imagine but use that one. So what we will do now, we will, um, or in the book it is said that we are in the position of some kind of, um, yeah, analyst and these are pits and these pits, um, well, they, as you can see here, the status is abundant. So um, we need to monitor them and each pit has some kind of um, problem. You, uh, the, the um the user or the uh, the um, owner of the pit has to has to react on so um, we have this one this information we don't have any possibility to see whether it is um, an easy to deal with pit or it is some kind of well maybe there's something really strange going on in that one. So what we will do is we will create or we will open a data table where we have this information already in. So let's go into this add button. Just wait a second. There we are. Well, this is not the correct folder. Well, we have to stay here. ArcGIS tutorial exercises number 9a it is uh, we will go into the data folder and let's say we have the pits shapefile uh, remedial reactions well I think this is a table we are looking for so we will choose the add button and well what has changed now prior we have been into this table of content view so we can only see the visual information like the shapefiles pits navigatable waterways and Louisiana parishes and uh, let me just check something if we have some bookmarks yeah well we have a bookmark southern Louisiana so this is the southern part of Louisiana what we will do is we will go into that list by source view and there the, our table comes up so we can have a look in the table and as you can see we have a lot of well, we have a lot more information available for each site or for each pit as we had prior and as you can see here the ID ID number as a title suggests 
is the same identifier as we have in the pits so we can go there here as well well uh, unfortunately it will open in the new uh, in a new tab here so we can switch between them and as you can see the ID number should be or uh, yeah should be the same so as we have said we would like to join these both tables and for this join there are several possibilities first of all the easiest way to join the tables you have the same amount of elements on the left side like in the remedial actions table as in the pits table and each ID number is also present in the other type uh, other uh, other table just by the amount of one so just one element in each that means you have a one to one join and this is not the case in our as you can see we have the um, original source is um, the shape of it's 75 we have about 606 objects and the remedial actions we only have 472 objects so this could be a little bit a problem otherwise if you if you can find each element in that table in our shapefile we we don't have a problem or we don't really have a problem because if you cannot find that number like this one here like this in our pits file you can well you cannot have a you cannot have a, have a link between them but um, yeah what is the point you have here more elements like in the remedial actions so for each every element you cannot find an information in the remedial actions table you will only get null values so not um, the these values are initial or not filled or how you might may call them so how to do that by hand well it's very easy you just click on or, or right, do a right click on pit 75 it doesn't it doesn't matter if you're in in this view list by source or in the um, list by drawing order so, uh, mode so right click and choose where is it selection no joins and relates of course so there there's a possibility to do uh, to adjust join or and to make a relate so often in my in my seminars it was asked okay well, well, well what's the difference between them well um, it isn't it isn't probably set properly set in the in the book. Um, I would say that, the, or I will, I will stick to the book in that case. So if you have um, not this, not so many elements that will fit to one element in the source. The source in our case is a shape file. Um, you should do a join if there are more than just one or two elements in the target table, like remedial actions here. And then you should go with the relate. So we will first, on first hand, we will go with the join. Um, as you can see, remove joins. There are no joins available. So we will click on join. And now we are present, or now we are uh, looking on the dialog. Join lets you append additional data to this layer's attribute table so you can, for example, symbolize the layer features using this data. So what is the purpose of it? We would like to use information in the other table to be shown on our map due to the fact that the shapefile has some geometric information about that and for um, about that feature. So what we will do, we we'll choose a field in this layer that he, the join will be based on. So what is it in this layer means that we will be uh, regarding to the pit 75. So we will have the ID number, choose a table to join to this layer. We will use the only table which is available in the, in, in, or the only real table which is available, remedial actions. And we will go with the ID number as well. We will also keep all records and we will not stick with the keep only matching records. So that means a record in the target table doesn't have a match in the join the record is removed from the resulting target table so that means that you will throw out some information out of the window and you don't want to do that because you want, would like to see whether there are maybe actions plans or action plans needed in the case of our remo um, um, in, in our uh, yeah, some kind of monitoring 
project or whatever you might want to call it. So we will keep all records and well, we'll go with the OK button and there's a, a warning something like that. You would like to create an index. Index is always fine because it increases the process speed in your daily work. So we will use use my choice and do not show this dialog again, which is not that normal to go with the with the uh, with this button, but we will do that in our case now. So uh, well, that's it. As you can see, there has nothing changed. What a surprise! But let's have a look in the attribute table here. So what you can see now is that the attribute table is much brighter, uh, broader, broad, yeah, wider, like more elements can be shown. So um, you have your old informations, like parish, contaminant, content, and so on. And then you have here the information from the old file, same ID number, which means you will have the um, uh, the same is the same information and what is quite interesting is that you will find also the original ID which means that this is original at uh, the uh, original FID in the table so that's quite important or quite interesting if you would like to keep uh, an eye on your on your join so what else shall we do now uh, we should go um, with a good representation of the action plans so well once again, go to the att uh, attribute table. Well, ID number, access land, access water, contaminated in whatever. Uh, well, there is something called cleanup. So, what needs to be done? And we will use this information as um, or to m make it visually accessible to the viewer of the map. So, we will also go to the layout view. Well, is there a layout view available? All oh, that looks well, I won't say it looks nice, but it's fine for the moment. We will also go to the properties of the feature. If you are not uh, used to that, uh, just look in the prior videos. Uh, we will go to symbology. We will say we have some categories, and the category in our case is the cleanup. We will add all values, and here you can see, well, we will choose the color scheme. Well, we cannot see anything as you can see. Um, so we will once again go back. We will choose another color ramp, original color ramp, um, and we will create or we will adjust the value on the the pointer size. Let's see. Well, this is just one. So we will go with all pointers. Size. This is fine. Size points by value in this field. Oh, well, none. Mm. Well, well. Let's stick with that, maybe. Change the singles. Uh, I cannot believe that we have to arrange each point for itself. No, oh, no, that's not that good. So what we will do is, we will just create a map where each point is uh, drawn regularly except the points where we have something like vacuum and remove to permitted facility on-site biological treatment so which is something like the worst case or and we will also create repair or removal of structure to get an over overview so we will create new color scheme same pointer size same color. Uh, well, let's change this color to another slightly different. So what you can see now is that we have some kind of clustering here in the southeastern part along the Mississippi 
uh, where remove repair or removal of structure is needed um, as an action yet all the other pits are quite fine well there's one s still one problem where we don't have a match so what we will use is we will use the same size of the pointer but we will stick with the yellow color scheme as you can see there's a, there's a certain clustering here in the southern part of Louisiana so this is it we have now created a join between these both informations and you can also remove that join by using remove joins with a table I won't I will do that uh, what I would like you to do is um, to export the whole as a new shape file. shape file so um, you can export the whole shape uh, the whole old, old shape file with a new table as a new shape file due to the fact if you would like to recreate that join or you would like to um, add this old shape file to a new project or something the join will not be um, recreated as well so use that export data to create a new shapefile and you will go with all the information which is currently available in your shapefile in your new shapefile so as you can see well you will yeah you know how to do that so this is the case uh, thank you very much for watching enjoy our next videos um, to relates and see ya goodbye